Hey guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, my tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, or either one of my other channels, Cancer, 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 or Lady Libra Tarot, the links are in the description box below. You will also find the, the timestamps there. Uh, guys, I am going to do a giveaway for Halloween. If you're interested in getting a recorded 15 minute reading, I am giving away one on each of uh, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer and Quartz Rose Tarot. So I'm giving away two 15 minute readings. You can go to both channels and you can uh, comment trick or treat and be eligible to win. So let's get into this for Aries. What do you need to know, Aries? What do you need to know? Oh, right out the gate, you got a tower. Okay, so you find you found out somebody's cheated here because the harsh truth is about juggling and causing a tower. feel like you're wanting to heal and take that leap to move forward. You're waiting to heal, to move forward from this betrayal. I feel like the person they may have chose was a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, uh, Aries. The choice was the queen of swords that they wanted to be with somebody who betrayed you. So I feel like you may have been married to this person because you're coming in in the queen of pentacles energy and you're sitting next to something that was long term and committed. So I I'm seeing you as a wife. Right. And, and I feel like you're very unhappy moving forward, still trapped in your head. So I feel like you're the, the problem is, is how they told you or how it was, how it came across. Because you're, you're having sleepless nights over the argument. You're obsessed here, very guarded and defensive about the argument. It's almost like, I almost feel like the, why do I feel like you want to get even? I'm not even, I'm, I'm, this is like telling me Aries is like, oh no, you didn't. Oh, <laughs> you did it. Right here. You see how flaming hot she is? She's pissed, right? Very guarded and defensive, obsessed, obsessed queen of wands. You get her, girl. Tell me about this. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Aries, you're going to get even with somebody here because when it came to love, you're looking at the past mistakes when it came to love. But look at this. You're watching for an opportunity for justice. You're looking to get even. You are. I'm telling you, I felt the energy of you looking to get. This is an opportunity. You want to see an opportunity for justice, right? So, mm. Boy, they have uh, Aries. You are you are fixing to open a case of whoop ass on somebody. I'm telling you right now, you are. You are. I would not be wanting to stand in their shoes if I was them. Nope, not one bit. Okay, Taurus. What do you need to know? To know Taurus.
I feel like you feel like you're owed an apology because you're trapped in your head, not speaking to somebody from your past. There you are, Taurus, because you need an apology. This could be a friend. This could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Could be a family member, mother, sister, cousin. The burden, there's a burden here because somebody was, I'm feeling competitive. With that five of swords, it's normally trying to win at all costs because, you know, using manipulation, whatever the case may be. But in this case, I'm feeling like the burden of this person always having to win, always have to be number one, right? And there's no equal give and take here. It's almost like you, this person's competing with you where on a level that they're not even, um, you can't compete where you don't compare, right? So if this person is always got to be in competition with you, there is no equal give and take between the two of you. There's jealousy coming from this person. This person is constantly trying to win over you, right? And, and you're waiting for an apology here because you feel betrayed and backstabbed. Whoever this person is, they feel like they have to one up you. Now, when somebody always feels like they've got to be better than you, it's because they feel less than you. And this Queen of Cups feels less than you, Taurus. See, they're trying to cut you out of something. They rushed in trying to cut you, cut you out of something. But now you see their regret. See, whatever the case may be, this person wanted to be in your shoes is what I'm feeling like. Tell me about Taurus. Oh, I see why. I see why. They wanted to cut you out of a relationship. They wanted to be seen um, by somebody you were interested in. They tried to betray you with your partner. There's a cycle closing out and somebody taking control, King of Wands. The King of Wands is the one who shut it down. He blocked it. He had the strength to block this person from what they were trying to do. Now, they may have even told you, hey, your sister hit on me or your cousin hit on me or your mom hit on me. Whatever the case was, they had the strength to block it. They took control of the situation. They shut it down. So this person, you see they're going to regret it. They will regret it. I feel like it's a family member. You're, that I, I just feel like this person is very jealous of you and very insecure, and they want to try to take everything away from you because they want to be you. So uh, it's they're kind of uh, probably need you know some help mentally because they're this person is just obsessed. I feel like the obsession lies with you, Taurus. They're obsessed with you. Okay, Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini. So, okay, so Jim and I, you're, I don't know if it's legally seeking something you're doing, you're, you're doing it secretly seeking justice. So wh whatever what you're hiding that you're seeking justice here, you're trying to move on from some deception, but you're at a crossroads. 
Gemini, you felt betrayed. You felt backstabbed. You felt backstabbed by somebody who you felt was your person because the wheel of fortune is sitting next to the two of cups. You felt like this was your destiny. This partner was your destiny. <clears throat> you felt like this was destiny with that wheel of fortune. This was a partner in your judgment. This person was your person. I feel like you're seeking counsel from somebody because you're communicating with the King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Could be a father. Could be a brother. Could be a friend. Take it how it resonates with you. You're talking to them about a family situation, communicating with the King of Pentacles about a family situation because you want a victory here and you're trying to get clarity. You're trying to gain clarity to get a victory. So I feel like... This person is not aware that you're coming after them, whatever, you know, if you're, you're taking back the house or financially or whatever, you're doing it, you're doing it in secret. You're not, you're not going to let this person know that you know what they've done. This is going to surprise them that you're aware of what they've done, because I don't feel like they know that, you know, at this point, you're seeking counsel from somebody. And you're trying to get clarity here. They're going to regret their past mistake because you're moving on to a new beginning. Right now, you feel very, uh, you're having sleepless nights about this. You may be laying next to this person, still feeling the betrayal. It's causing you to have sleepless nights, but you're going for a new beginning. This person's not even going to know what hit them. I feel like they're going to come home and the house is going to be empty or all their stuff is packed in on the lawn. So, um, Gemini. Yeah. You're taking care of business, but you're not telling anybody, which I like that because most time, you know, you're a lot, very logical thinker. Uh, you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. So you're not showing your emotion to anybody. So cancer. What's cancer need to know? feel like the wheels turning. You may have been going through some heavy stuff, Cancer. Um, and I know, I, I guess it's Pluto that is going from Capricorn into Aquarius. And it's been there for a long time. And um, it has knocked the shit out of all of us cardinal signs. So Cancer, Aries, Libra, um, Capricorn. And it moving in there. It's like the wheel starting to turn in your favor, though, because anything that was rushing towards you to win at all cost, they're going to regret the betrayal. Any anybody who was coming in and messing with you, cancer, it's about to get real for this person. Right. Destiny is, is about to take hold here. You're waiting for this. You maybe you're communicating with your your spirit team, your guides, guardians, that you're feeling like this cycle is about to close. Like you're communic they're communicating to you that this cycle is closing, right? Of, of, of times that you've gone through very tough times, very tough times. Uh, I'm thinking as much as 10, 10 years, possibly more, 
right, of those 16 years, because we've been in this chaos for 16 years, but the last 10 have been horrendous for you. Waiting, communicating that this is about to close, right? I feel like this is a this is more about you. This is a cycle closing something that you've manifested and you're using your intuition. I feel like this is really just you communicating with your guides about the situation. Like you're finally you're finally being uh, told that look, you've done a good job. It's time for this to close because we've got bigger and better things for you to do. I feel like not only has this affected you, but your family and you've been, you feel like you've been out in the cold, like you have had everything stripped away from you and you're at a crossroads on how to heal, how to recover, how, how are your blessings going to come towards you? I feel almost like this is a prayer that about you're communicating about your heartbreak. And they're telling you to hold on. It's time to move forward. They're telling you it's okay. Just hold on. It's time to move forward. So things are progressing in the right direction for you. So if you've been through some tough times and I'm talking some heavy, dark times over the past 10 years, that, that, um, that's coming to an end very quickly. This is fate and that cycle's ending. Okay. So cancer, you've got a, you've got a definite karmic cycle leaving you behind, which is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. I must say. Leo, what do you need to know? What does Leo need to know? You're coming in in masculine energy, Leo, and you may be getting clarity about past mistakes with a partner. You're standing your ground, though. You're standing your ground here. You're moving on from some drama. With that Six of Swords and the Five of Wands, you're, you're moving on with some, from some drama. You're taking that leap. Here's the thing. If you've been through something with somebody for a long time, you're finally standing your ground, enough's enough. Past mistakes, you're getting clarity about a partner. You're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving on from the drama. Now you're going to take a leap to offer your cup to somebody in love. It's almost like it's time for you to move on and find somebody new. I feel like, I feel like you're moving on. And what it's telling me is you felt like you were back and forth about reconciling a commitment. You were back and forth about reconciling a commitment. You were watching and needing strength. Um, I feel like what you saw wasn't good because for you now you're, you're moving on from the drama. You're saying enough is enough. I'm over this. I'm going to go find love somewhere else. holding on to a heartbreak for a long time and now you're cutting it out. You held on to a heartbreak for a long time and now you're cutting it out. I feel like you finally said enough was enough and I'm over this. And now, you know, I wanted to reconcile this relationship, but you really are seeing what this person's about. 
because you're getting clarity about their past mistakes and you're just over the drama you are over the drama you are cutting this off this heartbreak is no longer it's almost like now i'm good now i'm good right it took a long time was very slow moving but you did this you cut this out because it's time for you to go find love somewhere else you're looking for love with somebody else you're going to offer your cup to somebody it's not saying who but you're going in that direction so you're on the hunt virgo So somebody's been hiding something from you, Virgo, and you've been patient for a long time. Heartbroken over a third party. I feel like you tried to work on the relationship, but you were ended up just being unhappy. Now, I see you both in feminine energy. You could be a same-sex couple. You also could be both in your feminine energy. But the Queen of Swords hid something from you, and you've been patient a long time, heartbroken over a third party, wanting to work on the relationship, but feeling um, discontent, right? Needing to make a choice because of the betrayal. The harsh truth is somebody's a player. The harsh truth is somebody's there for a good time, not a long time. This person is doing you dirty and you've been trying to, to piece this together. I feel like you're the glue in this relationship, but you have somebody who is just, you know, out there doing what they want to do, whether masculine or feminine, they're, they're out there doing what they want to do. And you're trying to hold down the fort, so to speak. Your justice is leaving them out in the cold to, they're going to be obsessing that you've left them out in the cold. See, because you've been the glue so long in this relationship, you've held everything together when you finally say, uh, I don't think so. And you leave them out in the cold. Now they're going to be obsessed with you, but believe me. Yeah. Cause they're going to keep trying to come towards you, but you're going to resist them, right? Because they don't want you when they had you. They want you when you say no, but it's not really, you got to think about some people are there not because they're in love. It's because you provide some kind of security for them. Right. And Virgo, you're very solid, stable, dependable, secure energy, right? It's that yummy, uh, you know, you, you turn a house into a home, that kind of thing, right? Everything is, is, uh, nice around you. It's nice and warm and cozy. And this person is very cold and calculated. And so I feel like the two don't mesh very well, but they're going to be thinking twice when they're, you know, out in the cold. They'll be obsessing about rushing towards you, but you're going to resist them. Libra. Libra, there's a third party here with that Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. There's somebody who is having an affair with a third party. Um, you're going to get justice for this betrayal, though, when it comes to love. You're going to get a victory with your partner, King of Pentacles, when the truth comes out. It's been a long time coming. You've been discontent, needing to be patient, 
because this is destined for you. This is a destined person. You're destined to rebuild here. You're destined to rebuild. Now, there's going to be people saying, oh, I don't want a cheater back. I don't want this. I don't want that. Okay, then check your other placements, guys, because this Libra is going to get justice for this, and they're going to rebuild because it's meant to be. Right? There is going to be a new beginning here. You're just waiting for that new beginning. So you're going to find out everything you need to know, and things are going to turn around. Because I see Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and the truth. And you getting justice for the betrayal with this third party. You see a victory here it's sitting right next to that King of Pentacles. You're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's been a long time coming. You're discontent, being patient for destiny to rebuild, right? So I feel like you're, you're, this is going to turn around for you. This is turning around. Scorpio. Sorry, that was so short, Libra, but it was to the point. To the point. Scorpio. Scorpio, you could be married. This is actually a conversation that you're having. There's equal give and take in a conversation. There's an opportunity, but somebody feels very guarded. You're feeling very guarded about a tower in a relationship. There's an opportunity for the two of you to have a conversation, but you're the one who might be the one who's guarded about this tower in the relationship. You're at a crossroads about reconciling. Scorpio, uh, I feel like you could be a twin here because you have pre-empress, but you also have king of wands, which is the emperor in a lower vibration. You're manifesting this emperor energy in. Uh, you may have, you may be feeling, getting some clarity. You're getting some clarity about their having some regret here. That whatever this person did, they're ready to own it and take responsibility for it where you're concerned. But you're the one who's kind of guarded about it. You're going to find out how much they regret what they did. Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius, you may be having a new boy toy coming in because you're wishing to heal. You're wishing to, like, healing from the discontent for a long time. You've been upset for a long time. You've been unhappy for a long time. But there's a new passionate beginning with the King of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Cups, I like it. Okay. I feel like this is new love. I feel like you're looking at the seeds that are planted. You're being patient where this new love is. It's almost like you're getting clarity about a family situation. You're finding out this person could have kids with somebody there could be, but you want still want to be with them. You're a little worried. You're a little nervous. Uh, you're having a little bit of anxiety here because the nine of swords and the eight of swords are sitting next to one another, but you want to be with this person. You're worried about the burden. Um, be patient. 
this person's ready to work on the situation so don't rush it okay so this person will work it out with you um you've got new love coming in sag you do you have new love coming in you're going to find out that they may have a baby mama or a child with somebody and um or an ex-wife or take it how it resonates but and that concerns you a little bit about the burden but they're they're going to work with you they'll be patient patiently going to work on this situation. They're not going to rush it. They're going to take care of business. I like that. Some solid stuff coming in there. Okay. Capricorn. So I feel like this may be even related to work Capricorn, that there's an offer that you're back and forth about because you feel like this king of, or this emperor energy is hiding something. So you may hold back. So they're offering you something, but you're back and forth about it because it, it's almost like it's too good to be true, right? There's something hidden though. This emperor energy could be a boss, okay? And, and so you're holding back. I don't see this as a twin flame. I feel like you're in that pre empress energy though, or single and abundant. Your judgment is to stand your ground. And that will illuminate equal give and take. So I feel like you're not going to be a pushover for anybody here. I feel like you're going to stand your ground in your judgment, your judgment, you're going to have to stand your ground. I feel like you get what you want out of this because you're moving forward to celebrate. You're rushing to move forward. Okay, so I, whatever you stood your ground with this person about, it ended in your favor. So, good for you. Aquarius. There's love in a relationship with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Oh, I feel like you're Aquarius. You're starting over with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. There's a new beginning in love in a relationship. I feel like the relationship has gone. It's it's uh, gone on for a minute. Okay. Um, you feel like your partner was jealous in your judgment. They were jealous and they were trapped in their head about a betrayal of the partnership. You have blocked a third party here and apologized. Mm. You may be obsessed with apologizing. This might be your like going overboard with the apologies. Um, it's almost like be patient with this pre empress energy. Okay, you, you, what you did was you cheated on your partner and now you're saying, well, there was a lot of drama in your judgment. Yeah, well, did you create it? Because that's what I'm seeing, you created it. And now, you know, you may have blocked this third party, but you're obsessed with apologizing being patient when it comes to this pre empress moving forward. I feel like Aquarius, it could be the other way around. You could be the queen of cups. Okay. So take it out resonates with you. But the person here is the one, the person 
in the center of this read is why you're doing all of this, which is the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you're in your emotions, then that's you. So there could be a new beginning in love and relationship, and you could be in your emotions about the drama in your judgment. Or reconciling the drama, could be reconciling the drama. You're still trapped in your head about the betrayal with your partner. They have blocked the third party, and they have moved on. And they're obsessed with apologizing. So this could be you trying to be patient with them. It's a family situation. There was burden, but you still want to be with them. So. And. Pisces. Pisces, what do we got for Pisces? Oh, Pisces, I like it. You're moving on and you ended something and you've got the victory over this tower. You communicated your choice. You've made a choice here. You may have been trapped in your head about an opportunity with the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So you moved on from somebody, moved on and ended a situation because you want a victory over a tower. You want things, you, you, want, to, you want to conquer something. You're communicating you've made your decision. Your decision is with another person though, a queen of pentacles. You're, you may work with this person and you're, or you're working on communicating a new passionate beginning. You want to talk to this person about offering them something. You're looking back at your past mistakes, needing to see things with more clarity. So you may have a pattern here. There may be a pattern. You've made your decision. You've moved on. But is this something that you're repeating over and over? So I feel like it was kind of a short and sweet and to the point kind of thing. Uh, they're telling you if you do the same thing the same way, you're going to get the same result. That's what they're telling you. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave that there. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.